Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Perry. This is a series. I'll link the first video in the description. What is a bar without a counter? No, without a counter behind the counter. After all, the barkeeper also needs a place to work. That's what I will show you in this video. How I built this counter and how I covered the bar in a shabby chic look or vintage look. All that and a lot more. For example, how I got the logo onto the front side of the bar. Have fun watching. For the base frame of the barkeeper counter, I will just call it that way now, I use spruce wood. I sawed all of them together in the length as I need them. But I will jump this part to not bore you. First I put one slat to the back side. The front one is shorter, I will show you why in a minute. For connecting the small slats I prepared pocket holes. I didn't want the front slat to go over the fridge so that I can pull it out if needed. I selected the height of the slats so that the fridge door can open trouble free. The barkeeper counter will have a total height, including the countertop, of 90 centimeters or 35 inches. I pre-drilled the holes for the screws in this slat and will screw it to the other slats. On the top I then screwed elements with the same sizes together. At the latest, now, the spirit level should be used. I leveled the vertical as well as the horizontal. Big thanks goes to my father-in-law Gerhard, who assisted me well. Unfortunately though, he was mostly standing in front of the camera. With the metal angle, I screwed the end of these slats to the beam of the frame. I screwed the backside slats to the beam. For the barkeeper counter, I bought a countertop too. This one however was cheaper as the bar's front counter. A simple wooden look was sufficient enough. But because it was untreated, I oiled the surface so that it becomes more resistant. I didn't need to pre-sand the surface, as it already was nice and smooth from the shop. I used top oil from Osmo, which is fantastic for this type of use cases. After around about 20 minutes, you can remove the oil overflow. Now, if moisture is spread on wood, their fibers stand up and result in a rough surface. Therefore, I sanded the countertop again with a 320 sandpaper. Then I re-oiled the countertop. This time though, I only used a moderate portion. Now I can place the counter on top of the base frame and check the level. First I screw it to the beam with metal angles and then I mount it with long screws to the slat. However, I pre-drilled all slats with holes. Now the fridge is underneath the counter and the barkeeper has everything he needs. For the cover I used 29 pieces of this spruce wood. I have to cut these together to the height of my bar.
Now I want that the boards look used, worn out, scratched and bumpy. As if it was a bar from an old western saloon where cowboys played poker, drank and in the background they played western piano music. To get this look, I demolished them with different kind of objects. Because the cuts of the ends of the boards were so clean, I rubbed them against the cobblestone. After I dealt with all 29 boards, I applied a glaze onto them. For that I used a 2-in-1 wood glaze, which includes primer and glaze in one. I chosen the color walnut. In my opinion, the screwdriver scratches have the best effect. After all boards are coated and dried, they can finally be mounted to the bar. Don't forget to pre-drill here too. I did this with all the boards on their top and bottom. Here I added a blend. I did this on both sides. Because I'm a huge Green Bay Packers fan, I wanted to spray their logo as another eye catch to the bar. The cheapest and easiest way for me was to print the logo on paper in the size I wanted it to use it as a stencil. You have to watch out to only cut out the parts that shall be visible later. Now I spray glue to the paper. You have to ensure that the paper sticks onto the boards but just good enough so that you can remove it later without paper staying behind. My wife used rubber gloves to press the paper down as I was spraying the color onto the bar. That was important because the color shall not run underneath the paper. For those who don't know the Packers, this is an American football team from Green Bay, Wisconsin. The bar is done and I must say I am proud of it. This of course isn't the end yet, I will also cover the barkeeper side, install lights, and a lot more. The man cave is yet also far from finished. I have a lot of projects in front of me. So I hope you liked the video and would be happy for a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned. Till the next time.